Hey everyone, checking in from Greece, this is Elias Othaitis, and in this lesson we're going to be talking about recording audio into our DAW. We are using Cakewalk Sonar X3, and we're going to be going through the steps of setting up the project and also recording some audio. Before we do anything, we have to learn and always keep in mind that there is uh, one important factor we have to really consider here, and that is the input level. If we're recording at uh, really high input levels, our sound might come out distorted and uh, inaccurate. And on the other hand, recording at a very low level, we won't capture enough of the sound we want to record. We will probably end up with more hiss noise instead. To check our input levels, we should always listen for distortion and always look at our meter levels on the audio interface. If they hit red, then you should lower the input level because that's where distortion comes in. I say you should always record at the highest level you can before hitting red. Now we're going to set things up to record. What I have here is a MIDI drum track that I'm going to be using as a backing track uh, to record uh, an electric guitar. Okay, to record audio from my electric guitar, I'm going to have to insert an audio track. And the next thing I'm going to do is name it. Naming tracks makes it easier to find things, to find the tracks, to find the recordings. You can also add an image if your DAW supports it. That'll make it easier for you to locate a specific track when you have plenty of them next to each other. Now, in order for the system to capture my audio, I have to set the input of that track to my audio interface. I won't be selecting any stereo inputs because the guitar is a mono track, so I'm choosing a mono input from my audio interface. When recording audio, we often have to deal with the latency issues, so I'm going to set up a few things in order to have a smoother recording. So I'll be going to Preferences, and then Driver Settings. We should set our bit depth to 24 bits, for lower latency, we should have a smaller buffer size. I've set it to 144 samples. That will give me a 3 millisecond latency, and that's quite good. Now, our sample rate should be at 48,000 kilohertz. Now, after doing that, I'm going to arm my track for recording. I have my metronome click on set to recording also. And I have a counting of one measure, which means the metronome will be playing for one whole measure before the system starts recording. That helps with timing. So now I'm ready to click record and start recording, but before I do that, I'm going to check my input levels once more, just to make sure nothing's hitting the red and I have no distortion at all. Okay, everything seems to be fine, no distortion, no red lights on my audio interface, so now I'm ready to start recording. Just click on the record button and there we go.